Hello, 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 my beautiful Scorpios. How are you doing today? Um, I'm getting ready to do your midweek reading. And just kind of keep in mind, um, I do readings about every two to three days, just depending on my schedule. But I always think dearly of my Scorpios first. So, cross watchers, I'm sorry, uh, because I am a Scorpio. So I need to take care of this. I put you first, Scorpio, as always. Um, okay, so I just want to clarify that for some people who... Uh, you know, they kind of get into my comments and things like that. They don't really understand a Scorpio. They think all Scorpios are poison. <laughs> uh, but it really, they don't even know that there's three different types. So please, in the comments, if you see that, just leave my message. And um, every Zodiac can be good or bad, okay? But um, please don't pick on my Scorpios to the trolls, okay? Please don't do that. That's not nice. And remember, what goes around comes around. Yes? Okay, Scorpio. So in our last video a couple of days ago, if you have not checked out the videos, I did make a playlist. So if you missed any videos, take a look at those videos uh, in the playlist, okay? Uh, under videos in the, in the section of my channel. So anyway, we're going to see what's going on with Scorpio. Uh, you were done, 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 done with this person. Oh my gosh, when will this person just leave? And uh, Because Scorpio, you know, I want you to know that you deserve the best Scorpio, okay? And there's an energy that we still keep, that eggs keep coming back. People keep saying, because they can't let go of Scorpio. They can't let go of something great that came into their life. Okay, so hopefully we'll see something different. But this is a love and finance and, you know, um, some messages people need to hear. So that's what a reader is for, okay? So take it as it resonates for you and how you feel if you're a cross watcher you know welcome but this is a scorpio reading so be prepared <laughs> you might not want to hear what scorpio has to say and this is coming from the point of view of scorpio but also i look into the person's intentions and how they're thinking okay all right so i hope that you're healing i hope that you're getting better i hope that you're starting to feel alive again because after that person drained you and that person brought you down and hurt your heart it hurt your mind hurt your everything you know we scorpios have been there done that and uh, take time to read each other's comments and make comments if you wish uh, at least give them a thumbs up for posting and just kind of read yours and that will help you heal too scorpio because you'll see that you're not alone okay it happens to a lot of people we only sometimes think our stories are personal because we have such a deep heart but truly it, it, lots of people experience what you're going through. So maybe that'll help you. Okay, but let me know if I'm helping you heal. It does get sometimes overwhelming for me to um, make these recordings. It takes me a lot of time. It's very time consuming. It's no, so please make sure you click that like button and subscribe button. And to show your appreciation, okay? And that way you'll get all my videos. And sometimes I do pop-up uh, lives. And might do one this weekend. So make sure that you are connected to my channel that way you'll get the message or sometime pop up okay pop up live videos uh live sessions through youtube so anyway and make sure you share my video if you know other people and if you'd like a personal reading remember it's 35 dollars okay and that's about 35 to 45 minutes it's long <laughs> you know me already so okay so scorpios here we go yeah, let's see what's going on love to talk to all of you playfulness again you deserve love well we know that uh, angel guys spirits show me what's going on with scorpio to introduce what we need to know about for the midweek of may this week okay i'll take one more i feel like i need to take one more there well okay they give me two so that shall return at five. So um, we have here the finances, I mean, healing family issues. Um, they came up a, in a couple of videos ago, I think. You deserve love and playfulness. I'm going to try to organize this. Uh, playfulness you have here. And you have very soon. There's a decision you need to make very soon. And then there's <clears throat> finances issues that could be a factor here. So I'm going to get into my meditation part before we start the tarot to kind of give you a heads up about what um, I'm starting to intuitionally feel uh, what is going on here. So give me a minute, please. Okay. 
Okay, um, I'm going to go to the healing and family issues first. You know, as we talked about in another video, there was a lot of trauma that went on in your family life, in your childhood, things that um, I don't even want to say, but you know, your own feelings of what happened sometimes with, um, well, wow, that's pretty deep. I don't, I don't even want to say that. Um, abuse could have been some type of very emotional abuse here or physical abuse, etc., etc. Okay. And with that being said, Scorpio, that, uh, you had some dysfunctional family members. And what had happened in your childhood here left a s insecurity inside you. It left an empty hole, a missing part, a missing puzzle piece. And so as you grew up, you wanted to find someone to fulfill that void, that, that part of you that was wanting to be loved. Okay? And with that, you deserve car love card. Yes, you do deserve love, but with that family issue card, we have to make sure we're not reliving through, we're not living through a person from, from our family or from our childhood, okay? Because that wound that is still in you that hasn't closed up, you are going to be attracting the wrong people. You're going to be attracting narcissists for sure. And you know how I feel about narcissists and there's cheater, liar, manipulators. They play with your feelings. And so this is why it carries on through our life here. Okay. Then we meet someone. We're playful. We're fun. We really want to be loved like we didn't get in our childhood. Okay. And it's okay to be playful. Don't get me wrong. But there's an energy here where you really want someone to love you like you to fill that void. So... With that very soon card as well, there's a decision I want you to make within yourself. This is not about, it could be about the person we'll see as we get in the tarot, but there's a part of you that you really need to heal this from this energy, um, from this dysfunctional family. It could have been alcoholism. It could have been abuse. It could have been neglect. It could have been a lot of things that led into your adulthood. Now, you, um... That is why that you were attracting the wrong people. You you didn't know, and it's not your fault. You didn't know this was existent in your subconscious, in your mind, and inside your heart. And so we would need to heal that as you deserve love. So when you are out dating people or looking for someone new or finding the real love that you deserve here, without it being getting into toxic relationships or negativity. Now, there's a finance and career job here, and that's signaling that you need to be making some changes because I'm starting to feel that you're not happy where you're at with your finances and career. You need to make a uh, job change, or you could be getting a new opportunity, so please don't forget to take a risk. Sometimes changes are good. Don't be afraid to change and uh, do what's best for you. Okay, new experiences come with changes. Okay, okay, that felt a lot. Alright, so let's get into our tarot. But before I do that, I'm going to shuffle this card here. And I already meditated over cards. But I want to take a oracle card because um, I haven't used these for a while. And and I've been starting to use them way, but I just want to take a couple for you. You know, I love my Scorpios. I know your heart. The intensity. And when everyone drains your water, you just feel really tired and want to give up. Okay, so guys, here are two cards for Scorpio, please. Don't give up, Scorpio. Life is beautiful with the right people. And your guys and spirits for Scorpio. Okay, we're going to take these three here. Alright, so this is the chop the wood. Okay, I think I'll chop the wood. And you have, actually, I got four, Chaos and Conflict, uh, okay, and Leg Up. <laughs> um, this is the part where you don't give up, Scorpio. And the Flexible, okay, that's about, you know, doing things that 
you need to take a chance with. So I read the cards not exactly from the book that they give me, but also just from um, things, okay? Chopping wood. Okay, chop wood. It's like, you know, here the sign of a, a doorway. And when I think about chop wood, I want you to think about something that, you know, life kind of starts small. And... Then it grows into big and it can come back to being small. So, for example, you know, an acorn is really something that an acorn that, or I don't know, maybe not an acorn, but like a bird's grass seed or whatever. Grass seed can grow and grow and grow. Okay. That turns into um, trees and flowers and everything else. So, everything that is balanced. Um, here you have chaos and conflict. There are some things that's just emotionally going on that's um, just, you know, turning you inside out of being a different person than you really are. You know, that's affected your personality and this energy where all that conflict that you were dealing with has made you change. It actually made you become toxic. It kind of rolled over all in, into you and just spread all over you, okay? But I don't want you to give up on yourself. Okay, you see the little polar bear trying to get up on the mommy's back. Um, no matter how difficult things are, you know, always put your foot forward, your legs forward to make sure you keep going, okay? And then you have flexibility here. And then this flexibility, it's just that you can accomplish, accomplish anything that you want here. All right? So you just have to, you're going to have to get rid of things that don't, don't do you any good. That just is toxic or negative in your life. As hard as it is, family members, um, past relationships, the energy. Remember, they're just people. And if they're not being there in your life to be per positive and helping you in a way to grow you and to get in and to be able to be at peace and have happiness, those people you need to let go, okay? So be flexible with that. Don't forget to take chances. Okay, Angel Guys and Spirits for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay, what is mine? I'm going to take as many cards as I can. And we're going to watch them fall. So yeah, watch the cards fall for you, Scorpio. Now don't take the top card or the bottom card. Okay, wow, there comes the Empress. Okay. You have you kind of came out sideways, so I'm gonna put them in the positive and if there's things that you need to work on. The King of Cups, beautiful here. Queen of Wands, full of passion. For cups, rejection, somebody is getting rejected and pouting and ten of pentacles. Look at that. That's the finance card we were talking about. All right, Scorpio, from this point, um, you are standing in your power right now. Like I said, you were done, 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 done with this past X. And this king of cups, now you have this king of cups. And this is like a Pisces too. This could be, um, you know... They want to, that person, someone's really want to love you here. I don't want to say the X word. <laughs> but there's someone here that really wants to love you. And because they see your passion here. And I do feel, I'm sorry to say, but I do feel like it's this X. They didn't know what they had until you left them. Until you went silent on them. And you have the four cups here. You, they're, you're rejecting their offer here. And as I was saying in the other video, that, you know, done, done, that they still want to come back at any time they want to. Um, playing our games, but you, you're rolling in the dough here. You're taking, you're just doing just fine financially, or you will be. So that's why the finance card I said earlier, you might want to be changing jobs because something you deserve to have an easy, perfect, happy life. But looking at this spread right here, um, that X or a new person, I'm really assuming it's the X because the Four of Cups is here showing rejection. The, four, the King of Cups is a very... 
is a very person that has a lot of love inside them and they're very and they see you as the empress here they're like i was um they're just sitting and contemplating on how can they reach out to you and they gotta have you with a queen of swords now you could be two different people here so you know it's a queen king and an empress and even if you're the queen and you could be this person has also decided on who they give their love to. Should they come back to you as the Empress or give it to the Queen um, of Wands? But the Queen of Wands has a lot of burning passion. So you could be the same person because the Queen of Wands lives inside the Empress. Or it could be two people here. But somebody's going to get rejected. The King of Cups is ready to give his love here. But they're feeling rejected. They're scared to reach out to talk to you because they're like, you're going to give them that sting. Because they know you're going on with your life here, with your Ten of Pentacles. You you are ready to make your money and focus on you and do what's all best for you. And they see that. They know you cut them off. They know you really, really cut them off. They know you, they tried... They don't, they just keep playing these games. I don't understand why the games with this Four of Cups. It's like they come in and try to, you know, they're trying to figure out a way how to get back in your heart. And then they do, they start playing another game. And then they leave. And then they come back. But they know now you're not playing anymore. You're not playing anymore. Especially when I saw this um, chop wood. That's like considering, you know, you're cutting that up. You don't, you're cutting, cutting that up. You don't like piece of wood. You're not, you're done with it and getting ready to put it in the fire. Um, but here's the Ace of Swords in the upright. Now, you're not going to give no opportunity here to talk to this person. You have really cut this off. You're done, Scorpio. You're like, you know, in your head, you're still feeling this person. Like, I can't believe this person still is doing this. Ugh. You just get you're starting to come like not again kind of feeling. You don't want to you don't want to put zero energy in here. You don't care what they're thinking. You don't care who they're with. You don't care whether they want to talk to you or not. You don't care anything. You're at the point now you do not care as that empress. And they don't understand the word no. Because they know you're going on with your future, you're gonna build your life, and now um, you, you probably already told them, don't bother me no more, don't text me no more. You probably already stung them ten times, but they're coming back. You know, it's like, the, you know, the rejection It's just like, they keep coming back here with this four of cups. You know, how many times do they need to be, you know, how many times they rejected you? You know, when you were wanting them to love you, they didn't care. And you told them everything. You explained everything probably a dozen times, 15, 20 times. And now you're just like, no more. I'm done with this. I'm done, 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 done. I'm not communicating with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear from you. Go do, do your life. Leave me alone. But this King of Cups here is saying, but I want you, Scorpio. You're my soulmate. You know, they're going to... King of Cups is so confusing. But they're very... Like I said, intense, and then they just drain the person they're with. Okay, let's see. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not wanting to work on that. It's... The rest of it. Three more cards. Okay, it's two. Oh Lord! Let's see what just came out over here, right? That's a second card. Yeah, you're getting out of this. But there's the happy thumb. You know. Scorpio as well as I do. This person is just crazy. And I don't mean it in a way of ha-ha funny movie crazy. This person really has some mental deep rooted issues that you cannot correct. You're not going to talk to them. You, don't, you already told them you don't want to work on this. You don't care anymore. You don't love them anymore. Um, you got out of that stuck energy where you were bound to them like they were in your space. They were in your head. They're, I think you're really coming out of that. But there's the Two of Cups and a Happy Home. So this could be the, a new King of Cups that's going to come, wants to offer you love here and a happy family love. 
So they or the person can come back and just fill your head up with some more BS and tell you they want to get back with you and they regret not being with you and all those things. Thank you, guys, spirits. Scorpio death card in the center. It's the top card. Let's try again. The world card. Ooh, wow. Okay, so here we go. It's the Hermit card and the Knight of Pentacles. This is your person that is sitting and they know that. I mean, I believe you're not, this is not you in isolation type thing. They're probably sitting and thinking about what can they do to get you back. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. You're not taking this Playboy energy anymore. You're just not dealing with the Playboy energy. And because you're like, you know, I'm the death card. I am, you know, I'm death. I am the world. Mm -hmm. I need to fix my life here. I went through so much things that you you are not going to put me through that. I'm all about new beginnings now. X. I'm all about new beginnings. I'm all about fixing my life, healing my life. And no one's not going to stop me because I am unstoppable. Scorpio, and that's rebirth, right? So you're, you're reborn in yourself and coming to terms with yourself. That if you don't look out for yourself, no one will. But look what happens at the end. Happiness card here. The most important card in the deck to be happy. The strongest. And the beginning energy was the sun, uh, Empress. So this is a signal of here of you. That, you know, you're you're on your way. Um, you know what you deserve. You know in the, wor the world of things. You deserve to get everything you desire. You deserve that love. You deserve that respect. And you're coming to terms that you are the empress. You're standing on top of the world now. Okay, so it's kind of like this. You're, you're standing here on top of that world as the empress. You're not, you know, you're just not going to, you're going to be victorious for yourself here. So you can get those things that you want in life. Okay, you're wanting that family life, that love, that happiness, and that peace. Oh my goodness. That's what the death card is. It's to reborn you back to your peace, back to your center. Because this person absolutely... They pulled, they drained all your water, Scorpio. It makes me even take a deep breath to have to say that. They drained you. It's like if you can get in a, how they drain a swimming pool. Or you drain the ocean. That's how deeply they, this person um, made you so exhausted. That you couldn't even function on some days. There was days that... You know, your mind was tired. You couldn't even focus at work. You couldn't feel good. You couldn't feel good about yourself. Because this person drained you so much. And now, as you're going through this process here of moving along, of course they're feeling rejected. And they don't sit there and think about what they did to you, Scorpio. They know you're on your way to... You're done. And like I said in the last video, that this... Ace of uh, Swords in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Saying, you're, no, you're, no, 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 no more of this. I don't know what I got myself into, but this is not going to happen to me again. So you left that person isolated. They don't know what to do. Because the tables really have turned on this. The universe has turned back to you, Scorpio, to accomplish what you need to do in your life. And also, you have a purpose here. But this Two of Cups... I'm going to see what that's about. Let's clarify that. And this King of Cups. I'm just going to pull them out for a moment. So uh, that's kind of... But you are on your way to being happy here. Okay? So let's see what this King of Cups is about. Or King of Cups. I'm sorry. Angel God Spirits, can you tell me, give me two cards, please, for the King of Cups for Scorpio. 
wants this card here. Who is this? Who is the King of Cups? And this member it could be male or female. All right. Oh no, they just thinking. Yeah, this is definitely the X. This is you, Scorpio, and um, you're like I said, you've been tired. You're tired of this. You come out of anxiety, that worry. They had, they did this with intentions. Okay, people do things with intentions because they want to. And that's why I have a problem with people when they, they apologize. I might say, okay, maybe you were not smart enough to make that decision. But this is, you see how many swords is it? They had your mind all bent out of shape. They had your mind warped. They had your life warped. You didn't know which way you were going. And, and you just kind of flip into a different person, as I said earlier. And this King of Cups is that X, okay? They know they lost you. <laughs> they know they, they were playing so many games with your mind here. They know exactly what they were doing. And the more that you gave them that power to try to conversate with them, talk to them, make some sense out of things, being like a normal person in a relationship, they, it, the more you fed their power. And now that you rejected them, you rejected that king. You rejected them because you're on your way to make your money, take care of yourself, and become, the, you know, doing your own passion thing. They see here that they can't control you anymore. Okay, let's look at this Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups because that's kind of like a reunion for a family life here. So, what's this about? Angel God Spirit, please clarify the Two of Cups. Oh, well, never mind. They get us up. There's your Empress card again. Mm -hmm. Double confirmation. And moving forward, the chariot. There's a person. Let me see. Somebody has their eyes on you. Yeah, you're just you're done with this. You're not, you're not leaving me out in the cold anymore. You're not going to abandon me and block me and hang up on me and disappear and ghost me. No, you're not doing that no more. So you're choosing your own direction here, Scorpio. You're looking for something new here, your happiness. You're on your way to your happiness here. And you ghosted to this person. And they thought they could do that to you, right? You don't really care. The whole thing is you ghost them because you don't care. They ghost you because they want to control. No, you don't worry. But look at there. The Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune in your favor here. So, Scorpio, I just need you to make sure you're hearing me out here. <laughs> Two of Cups for your happiness. Ten of Cups, all right, in your energy of the sun. So, we. this is what's coming to you, plus your Ten of Pentacles. You're going to get everything you wish. For your happiness this is your happiness here this is what you're wanting okay you want to meet somebody who's gonna love you and care about you and be a family life and um, love you and care about you and make that happiness your wishes and also grow your money and get smart ideas of who you are and then the confirmation of you have the Empress double confirmation the chariot and also the will of fortune to say you know, Scorpio, whatever you want to do, you're going to get it. Whatever you want, just ask for it. We know that you have been through a lot and the pain, but it's going to be worth it now, Scorpio, because you're going to show that person that you no longer need them. You are the empress. You're standing up on top of the world, and you're going to do what Scorpio wants to do. You're going to move forward. You're going to be happy. You're going to get all the wishes that you ever dreamed about. But Scorpio, you have to take the chance here, right? As I said earlier up here. You have to take that, you know, leg up card here. You can't give up on yourself here. Because in that time of emotions, you're in this, this place where you feel like life is not beautiful. But you, it is happy. 
when you get out of that, you cross over to your, and you start thinking about yourself and your happiness and what you want and doing what's best for you, you'll see how fast the people disappear out of your life. So that's how you know, Scorpio. Move forward, please. Be happy. Enjoy your life. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpios. But this person sitting on the sideline because they lost control of you. They know you're not thinking anymore. You're not worried about them. They're not going to drive you crazy anymore. They're not going to cause you to be suffering or losing your time and your energy to put into this type of person. But that king is waiting. Or it could be a new person, like I said. But that, um, but he's in between two women here. So, or it could be a man. That, you know, not gender doesn't matter. But Scorpio, that's for you, okay? This has been your reading and for the midweek. And this is all about making choices. You do have a choice here. But don't think that ex is going to forget you. Mm -mm. They've lost control because they can't. You won't let them back. You won't let, you're going to reject this person. You won't let them back. Mm -hmm. You're not letting them back. You're like, no more of this. I don't know what I got myself into, but I'm not doing it again. That's what you're telling yourself. Let me know if you tell yourself that. But you're the empress here moving into a new world. And when you cross over, you're going to see the fortune and that ten of pentacles. And everything's going to change for you. But you have to be willing to do the part. And don't forget to heal that family issue. Because if you don't, it's going to carry over into another relationship. And you're going to, or you're going to attract the same type of people again and again and again. So make sure that you recognize something happened in your childhood that's drawn you to these people. And identify that. Um, because you deserve the best happiness here, Scorpio. You're the empress. And if you're a man, you're the emperor. You know, it's the same type of energy. Very nurturing, very loving. And giving. Okay? So move forward. Even as hard as it is, you need, don't give up on yourself. Understand this is a process. It's a process to go through. But I see that you gave up on this. Wow. Mm, you put that person in their place. And you stung them. <laughs> so congratulations, Scorpio. But um, but please, if uh, hopefully this reaches someone to make sure you heal. Make sure you do what's best for you. Consider, can, Think about yourself here. Okay, put yourself first for once, Scorpio. As much as you have this deep love, refuel yourself, put back your water, because this person took you for a ride on a roller coaster water ride and took all your energy from your water. Go to a shower, go to a hot tub, go to a swimming pool, go do a spa, you know, something with a lot of water. If it rains, stand in the rain, you know. Trust me, it's going to, you know, with the water elements, oceans, if you can sit by the ocean or a lake or something like that, it will, being out in nature will help you recharge yourself to quiet your mind and find your center and get back to the Scorpio you used to be, okay? Get back to the Scorpio you used to be before you met this person who left you out in the cold. Because you're not, you're not going to give them a time of day to do this again. That's what I'm feeling right here. You're like, nope, this is not going to happen to me again. No, 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 no. And you're, you, you need your time to kind of go through it, but... Um, but know that you're Scorpio, you're very strong, and you will re be moving into a new direction, okay? So take that advice. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in the cards can flip this kid. And you're not waiting on this person, you know? You're not waiting. You don't, you love me. No, no, no. But don't flip it back over, okay? Don't go back to that energy. Okay, do what you have to do to release it. Because your happiness is waiting for you, Scorpio. Smile and be happy, Okay? All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. I will see you soon. If you like a personal reading, please let me know. Give that thumbs up, and please help me connect with on YouTube with other Scorpio subscribers and people. Um, I love to, just to help the world, okay? Just help this world, because I feel like the more I do this, and I'm touching and reaching your hearts and healing you, um, that's a purpose for me to serve, okay? All right, Scorpio, I will see you next time, probably over the weekend. So uh, make sure you subscribe because I might send a message on my channel in the time and to meet me for a live, okay? All right, Scorpio, I'll see you later. Have a wonderful week. Stay in peace, be safe, and I will talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.